Hello. Today we're going to work on the bow hold. The right hand holds the bow. I like to prepare by making an X on my thumb in the corner up by the nail and some lines across the creases of my middle fingers. That X will meet those lines and make a circle that you can see through. These fingers at this point are light. The center of the bow hold is that corner of the thumb and the lines of the fingers. Then you can take a pencil and put it right in between where the thumb and those lines meet. You could still have your circle. <clears throat> then for the cello bow hold, these outer fingers can help the pencil go back and forth like a seesaw. When you do the seesaw, the thumb is the middle. See how the thumb gives? There's flexibility in all the fingers, but the arm is staying very still. Then you can take the same idea and do it with the bow. Start with your circle, corner of your thumb to the middle of those fingers, have your hand be flexible. Then holding the bow with the other hand in the middle, put the stick of the bow where that pencil was, right in between the thumb and the fingers. <coughs> These outside fingers will be loose and you can do the same seesaw with the bow at this early bow hold level. Violin players will then work on a shoulder shadow bowing exercise, but for cellos we keep our bow on our lap. And I'm going to take a toilet paper tube to put the bow through keep the rosin off my legs, <clears throat> and then pull the bow back and forth to get the feeling of how the arm will move when you're bowing on your strings. So this early bow hold is a place that I keep students at for at least a month or so before I'll move them down to the regular bow hold. The next video will be the regular bow hold, but in the meantime, enjoy the early bow hold.